This weekend will be filled with families checking out historic planes inside and out because Castle Air Museum's popular open cockpit day, it is finally here, folks. And joining us to fill us in on all the fun, we have our resident aviation expert, CEO from Castle Air Museum, Mr. Joe Pruzzo, along with dedicated volunteers, Bill Emery and Pat Patton. Thank you, everyone, for being here. What a treat. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Thanks for bringing your friends, Joe. Absolutely. I thought it would be interesting for the viewers at home to see you know people other than me all the time <laughs> and that we do have uh, capable and very talented volunteers yes well we'll get to volunteers in a second but first I want to invite everybody to the open cockpit day it is on Saturday uh, actually Sunday Sunday it's Sunday September 2nd it's from 9 to 5 and we're gonna have a lot of things for people to look at we'll probably have about 40 of the aircraft open for viewing yeah. um, and we'll also have uh, you know children's activities like make and take models the law enforcement displays uh, a food court with a lot of good food and just a fun family day and it's also a, a an education yes. you know on history and what uh, the members of our military flying services uh, deal with on a daily basis and you know taking them back in time i mean i think the video speaks for itself there's mm -hmm. so much to do it's going to be so exciting sunday september 2nd everybody mark your calendars nine to five and keeping up this a these aircraft takes a lot of work and that's where the volunteers come in mm -hmm. pat can you fill in folks on what you do corrosion is the aircraft's enemy we try and eliminate corrosion by replacing panels mm. uh, all across the aircraft and um, it takes a lot of volunteers it yes. does it does and you don't have to be afraid to volunteer yeah we can take anybody and and make them an honest volunteer and somebody would be proud of the museum there you go like That's, bill here uh, right bill. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> what was your background that made you interested in castle air well i spent 20 25 years in uh, the California Air National Guard at the 144th, and then I retired in 2008. Oh, that's awesome. And then uh, I've been volunteering up the museum since the late 80s. Oh, and, that's so uh, fun. So then when we got the F-16, uh, it was just natural thing for me to start crew chief in the airplane when we got, uh, when the airplane came to the museum. So been doing that now since we rolled it onto the grounds. Well, thank you for volunteering. And Pat, as you mentioned, though, you don't need an aviation background in order to volunteer. All you got to do is have a heart. Oh. And, and we'll, the camaraderie and the intelligence inside our hangar where we work on these aircraft is, is so powerful, we yeah. can do anything. Right. And we just need people that, that can trust us to show them and we'll work with them. You need more volunteers. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Atwater luckily is not that far, Joe, so there can be volunteers from all over the Central Valley. Well, absolutely. These two gentlemen are from Clovis and Fresno, respectively, here. So, yes, they can be from all over the valley. Uh, it's not that far. And, uh, you know, an hour up the freeway, we also get them from uh, the Modesto mm -hmm. area as well. Uh, we could probably use tenfold the volunteers that really? we have now. Yeah, because yeah. you guys are busy. You've got a lot going on. A lot going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I say, you know, keeping up the airplanes is paramount and it's like a bridge. You know, you always have to go out because they are in the elements. We talked a little bit about the need, mm -hmm. the, the dire need for a hangar a to hanger. start putting some of these yeah. indoors. Once they're indoors, the corrosion, you know, the, the, the deterioration goes practically to nil. Right. So, you know, those of you out there, uh, you know, companies, ag firms, whoever you are, uh, please consider, uh, you know, making a, a sizable contribution to a hangar to preserve our heritage. Yes. It's, uh, you know, they're airplanes, but you kind of liken it to the Liberty Bell or Independence mm -hmm. Hall. You Living know, history. They're, they're oh, sentinels sure. yeah, of, yeah. of our history We've and our that. sacrifices. So, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think doing you know being able to preserve that and right here in our valley is so important. Yes, that is so well said, Joe. So, if people are interested in donating, how can they do so? What's the best way? Uh, they can uh, contact the museum. Uh, you know, uh, on the uh, number you see there, Monday through Friday, or. They can email us, uh, they can email uh, the museum, or they can go on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, if they go on our website, there's a support us uh, tab. You click on that and you'll see hangar campaign. Yeah. And so they can they can contribute via the website electronically mm -hmm. as well right. through PayPal. Right, and Bill, why is it important to keep this living history alive? I mean, you yourself served mm -hmm. 
in our armed forces. Well, it's so important to go ahead and to uh, pass on what we've done, you know, in the service and, and the different services, not just the Air Force, uh, and what these airplanes did to help protect the country from uh, things like communist aggression from the Cold War all the way mm -hmm. to present day, you yeah. know, uh, the wars that we've been in the last, you know, couple of decades. So, and we have it all. We have airplanes that go back to pre-World War II, wow. all the way up to the modern day, you know, fighters. So, you know, you get a, a complete smorgasbord of, sure of, of airplanes, you know, when you come up. But yes. volunteering on the airplane is, is really neat and it's rewarding and uh, it's it's fairly easy to do. Awesome. Yeah, it's, Piece of cake. There yeah. you go. Piece and you get to hang out with you two all day. That's right. Aluminum. Super fun. <laughs> okay, everybody, we'll call, visit, stop by Castlier Museum to sign up for volunteering, to donate, and of course, don't miss that open cockpit day on Sunday. We're so glad it's here. So all thank likewise. you, gentlemen, for your time. Well, and yes, thank you. Thank we'll be you. we'll be flying high on Sunday. That'll be yes, so fun. Yes, we will. Yes, Good. we will. Good deal. Well, still to come here on Central Valley today. The three-day weekend is upon us. Will you be on the roads? If so, don't even consider drinking and driving. We're going to tell you about the penalties that could cost you.